Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a very interesting topic to cover today because there are some leaks about a Silver Stars promo or some sort of a promo that is going to contain Silver players, all players that are 74 rated or below, but they have really good stats. This is something we've never seen before. It seems really crazy. And we're going to look at some of the players that are already leaked for today. But again, this is just something that we're surprised at right now. The initial surprise of like what in the world is going on. Silver players, are those going to be as meta and as hyped as some of these road to the final items that we have right now in this game that are live upgrading with these insane stats? Or is this just going to be some sort of new promo that EA is trying that is dead? And also we still, it's leaked, right? So we don't know if it's 100% true. Could EA be trying to bait the leakers with this information. But again, that's all stuff we're going to talk about today. Of course, right now, Road to the Final cards are moving like crazy. There were some wild movements yesterday. You see me here with Quadrados that I sold at like 200,000 coins. He was He's actually now down to like 150k. Um, Renato Sanchez went up big time after they actually lost, which seems like the opposite, but we'll talk about why that happened. And of course, the Antoine Griezmann flashback SVC is another big flashback SBC for this game. And, and, you know, we've had Neymar, we've had Griezmann recently, some big flashbacks. So we're going to talk about it all today. But first, if you are enjoying the videos on the channel, make sure to hit a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about this whole Silver Stars promo concept thing because it's a Wednesday, right? Wednesdays, we usually see Silver Stars added into objectives. Anyway, right? Silver Stars is not anything new. Um, and of course, last week we had, we had the Swedish striker here from the Bundesliga and you got a swap token with it, but evidently there are leaks saying that EA has added a bunch of silver stars type items into the game. Now we're using the term silver stars because it's basically a bunch of silver players that are 74 rated or below, right? That's the cutoff for a silver item. And they're adding them in as flashback silver stars, objectives, and SBCs. Foot Sheriff says that it looks like a promo, no confirmation, but take a look at some of these players, right? Elanga from Manchester United. I mean, the thing that you're going to see with some of these cards and the stats, um, I don't 100% know if these are confirmed stats or not, but I mean, these cards look, some of them look okay. Some of them look, you know, just also like silvers. It's kind of weird. And that's what's so interesting about it. Now, this would be a silver stars item that we might expect on any Wednesday as a part of like a silver team of the week card in the silver stars promo. So this is leaked. I don't know if it's coming out today. I don't know if it's a part of this like silver stars promo that we're talking about. But this idea of a silver stars promo just seems very interesting, which of course sets off some alarms in my head. It's like, is this actually true? And one thing that we're going to have to watch out for is more leaks. And Wednesdays have been days where we've gotten loading screens in the past telling us about upcoming promos. If we see a loading screen today, that would, of course, cement the idea that some sort of silver type of promo is coming. But it's a very wild idea to think about EA releasing a, a promo of silver cards. Joe Ellington is also one of the silver stars that's evidently going to be an objective. He says, not a player pick, but do we think he'll come as a center mid or a striker? A center mid Joe Ellington would kind of be kind of cool, I think. Um, but as we kind of scroll up here, and Foot Sheriff is talking about some of these things that he's getting from his league sources, he says that some stats look unreal for 74 rated cards. Excited to see what concept we will see. But again, as we look at a Cyprian card right here that is leaked as well, the whole conversation just comes down to Yes, this is kind of cool because it's silver cards and they have really insane stats for silvers. But is that is it really that hype? Because, I mean, you think about this Cyprian card, you're like, all right, yeah, 74 rated silver. That's an insane card for a silver. But then if you take a look at this Renato Sanchez that they've been releasing, right? You've got club 80 stats with three stats in the 90s, right? And you look at just even a card like this Kamara you know, who's got some good stats in the 80s, or a Genduzi, or a Kakare, who was released two weeks ago, right? This card right here looks way better than the Cyprian item, in my opinion. So it's all about the silver aspect of this. And if these are cards that are actually released into packs, like if it's a promo, I think some people are going to see this as like not very hype as well, because if EA is trying to sell packs with silver cards, that's just very interesting. So I feel like this would be a step down from the power curve if they do that. But again, as he mentioned here, he mentioned a lot about objectives and SBCs. So what we might be heading into, and this is just, again, theoretical thinking, it might be one of those weeks where we don't actually have cards in packs 
think about it, right? We've had a consistent promo going on since even right before a team of the year, which is promo after promo after promo. We've had future stars for two weeks. Now we had road to the final. Maybe they're going to take a step back here and run like a foot foundations or foot series promo with a lot of silver cards. So that's just kind of interesting. Now, this is a really interesting topic right here. He says that KDB is getting a future stars or sorry, a silver stars card. He says information about KDB receiving a silver stars is legit. I got told the same. He also says so far you have told that he's been told that about big names being included in the promo. Looks like every player will be a 74 rated card. So a silver, right? So it's just, it's such a weird concept again, because if they're going to be releasing a Kevin De Bruyne that is a silver card, is this like a flashback to when Kevin De Bruyne was younger? So is it like a combination of him when he used to be a silver card in FIFA and like now where he is, I like it's so confusing. It's like a mixture of flashback, but also 74 rated cards. But you know that this KDB is not going to be as good as his team of the year item, right? Or, or even as his like inform you know, or, or the signature signings card that is on this game. He actually said, this is another sheriff tweet to look at here. He mentioned, uh, you know, somebody was asking like, what's the point of this promo? Like we have a Kevin De Bruyne gold card. If the stats on the silvers are worse, this promo is going to suck. Right. Uh, and then foot sheriff said his stats are better than his 91 rated card, which is very interesting to hear from the leaks and to think about. So again, we can go through this promo as well and look at some more leaks. Um, says he says here that it does not seem to be today on friday so it's really it seems like it's some sort of a promo and not just related to like the silver stars that are usually released on wednesdays renier is getting one um 91 pace 89 dribble that's a pretty good looking silver card right there um yeah so it's you know who, here's another one musanda right a lot of prem players involved in this so it's just it's just interesting and if, if especially if these cards are in packs, which in my opinion, I don't think they would release these cards in packs because they know that people wouldn't want to go out and, and open up FIFA points to try to pack a, a silver card like a Musanda or something like that, you know? So I feel like it would be an objective or SBC based promo. And that really makes me think that it's going to be something along the lines of that foot series. If you guys remember like the EFL championship and the air Divisie, So like the David Neres SBC and the Chong, right? We'll talk more this week as we get more leaks and stuff. But again, there's two sides of the coin here, right? Yeah. It seems kind of cool to get silver stars. You know, we'll have some really good silver items, but for a lot of people on this game, it's going to be like, okay, these cards really don't make it into my team. So what's the point, right? And okay, maybe this is cool. So what's the point? Like, why do I want to get hyped about this and want to get involved in this? So we're going to have to get more information. Again, this could just all be a smoke screen. And it seems so crazy and almost crazy enough to me that maybe it is some sort of like crazy thing that EA is doing to try to distract the leakers or something like that. Um, or maybe it's just some brand new promo that we've never seen before that EA is going to drop. And it's going to be somehow hyped, somehow cool, or maybe it's just going to flop. I don't know. So that's kind of all that we know about the situation at the moment. Again, we really hope for a loading screen today. That would help out a lot. That would really put some of the nerves to rest about, are we actually getting a promo? Is this whole Silver Stars thing a promo? And then we have gotten loading screens on Wednesdays in the past before. So keep an eye out for that today. But that's everything related to the leaks right now. It's crazy. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments how, how you would like react to a silver card promo, right? It just seems like why would they release cards like that that aren't as hype as a normal promo? It is very different. So I know some people think it's cool. Uh, some people are also like, what if they start, you know, requiring use to us to use silver cards in the weekend league? Like how would that change the market and how would that change things? That'd be pretty crazy as well. So I don't know, it's crazy. And we're just kind of theorizing and looking at ideas and looking at the leaks right now. And of course, taking those leaks with just a pinch of salt. Um, in this game. So let me know down in the comments how you feel about that after looking through some of this stuff. But let's talk about today on Wednesday as well and a little bit of the content from yesterday on Tuesday. We already have a team of the week uh, that is leaked. And I know it's like, Nate, uh, the team of the week is released today on Wednesday. Well, EA Sports added all of these cards into concepts just a few hours ago. So we know team of the week and who's going to be in. 94 Lewandowski. We have a Sancho. So Sancho's uh, ones to watch card is going to pick up an upgrade. It is up in price. He's 110,000 coins. Bar that undercut right there. So he is up 
in price a lot because he's getting an 88 rated inform today. That's going to push that Sancho to an 89. We're getting another LaFont inform. Dan Juma is getting a striker card. Harry Kane is getting an inform. Aubameyang as a Barcelona card. A Rudiger inform. The team of the week actually looks kind of good, if I'm being completely honest. I don't know if they've added it in here into a team of the week format yet but you can go on the footbin popular page and see all these cards because they're all here a 96 rated ito card that looks pretty interesting so yeah we already know the team of the week for today so if you're opening team of the week packs this one might actually be a decent one to rip for rudiger is very usable Aubameyang with the new team lafont ito sancho Lewandowski, kane some higher rated ones in there dan juma has some decent stats for a team of the week card so if you've been saving team of the week packs we have gunter as well as a pretty good looking gonna be very cheap of course too uh bundesliga left back so just keep an eye on that and it might be a time to rip open some of those save team of the week packs um today on this game uh again we, we talked about silver stars a lot just now right with a potential promo well i still think that we would see maybe a silver stars player today Maybe one of those Silver Stars guys that was leaked is going to be our Silver Stars player. Uh, Silver Beast, of course, is going to be dropping again as well. So that's going to be out inside of the game today. We would expect our normal Wednesday content, right? Normal Wednesday things. Then the other thing that could potentially still come out today is that Showdown SBC leak uh, between Origi and the center attacking mid from Chelsea. His name is Mason Mount. So that Mason Mount Origi SBC that was leaked I think either today, tomorrow, or Friday, and probably either today or tomorrow would be the day that we would get that SBC ahead of the big game on Sunday uh, in the League Cup final. So that showdown SBC is probably going to be entering the game pretty soon as well. Might be today, might not be today. Those are just kind of some things to consider for Wednesday content on this game. Also, I wonder if one of the Team of the Week cards that we're getting today is going to actually be a hero card design, or maybe if they're going to add a silver star today that is going to be a hero card. Um, some way or shape or form, I think this card is going to be on this game pretty soon because this new card design was just added to the code, and I'm pretty sure that's the hero card design. I actually don't know if we've had any hero items this year. If, maybe if this is not the hero card design, let me know down below. Uh, but it looks like the hero card design that we've seen in years past. Uh, let me actually check the marker right now and see if you can search for this uh, card type. If it's available in here. Uh, okay, something's going on in here because there, there either was one card that was added or one that was taken away. Headliners. Th there's no headliner streak uh, right now. That's interesting. I see no headliner streak. So EA is up to something. EA is up to something right now with the quality search. Because if I can't find headliner streak, that means that I can't search for like Luis Diaz, right? I go Luis Diaz. Bang. Unless they change something. Uh, headliners. Yeah, so yeah, that's interesting. Anyways, so there's no Luis Diaz unless you search under special. That's really wild. So EA is up to something there. So we'll have to see what happens in terms of that car design, whether it's involved with Team of the Week or whatever. But let's talk about what happened yesterday as well because... There were a lot of movements with Road to the Final Cards. It was actually crazy yesterday with the games that happened. Uh, of course, as we expected, a lot of these cards went up in price after the first scored goal. If you take a look, you know, Quadrado here, right? Quadrado is 150,000 coins. He was 210K right after Vlahovic scored that goal in, what was it, like 37 seconds into the game, Vlahovic scored. Quadrado went from like 195 to 210. And then, of course, when Villarreal equalized, he went down a bunch. Same thing happened to Kai Havertz. Not really the same thing, but Kai Havertz went from 280K all the way up to, I believe he was up to 200. He was actually up to 310,000 coins. So he went up a lot. And then, of course, post-game, especially with the leaks of that Mason Mount coming soon, and so many people had invested in this Havertz card. He just got too expensive, right? He just got too expensive. He was over-invested. He is going to get the upgrade. He's going to go from an 89 to a 90 rated card. But with that Mount SBC kind of looming, everybody that invested for the rise, they wait until after the game to sell because they think, oh my goodness, the card's going to go up after the game. But in reality, the best time to sell is during the game when that player, like when the team's when the player's team scores a goal, basically, right? So Havertz went from 280, and maybe I can show you on the flipping graph here to kind of put it in perspective a little bit better. So Havertz went from, he was kind of rising all day, right? 260, 
He rose up to like 280,000 coins right around content time. During the game, 270, right? Boom. He spikes up to 310, actually. He was 310,000 coins for like a 10-minute period right after um, Chelsea scored that first goal. And then he dropped off in price as everybody who invested, right? Again, Havertz has been, he's been 200,000 coins on the weekend. And he's risen up a lot. A lot of people were investing because they were favorites over Lille. And they were right. They, they were right. They won two to zero. But of course, everybody looks to sell this card after the win instead of during the game when that first like winning goal is scored, kind of like guaranteeing that upgrade, if you will. So yes, Havertz is going to get upgraded. Yes, his price might go back up a bit unless the Mason Mount out SBC comes out really soon. Uh, that could drop this card price. But that's kind of how these cards work, right? Selling during the game or selling into the hype of the game is always the move. Now, with this Renato Sanchez, there was a crazy fluctuation with this card yesterday. Um, we talked about this, right? There were so many people that knew that Lille were underdogs that were waiting to buy Renato Sanchez after or during the game when Chelsea would have scored, right? So Chelsea scored their first goal, 1-0 to zero in the first half. And I actually went out and I picked up a Renato Sanchez for 1.31 million coins. And he went up uh, because, again... As I mentioned, yeah, you're like, wait, Nate, when these players get scored on and their card means, it basically means they're not going to get upgraded. Uh, doesn't that mean that these cards like go down in price, not up? Well, yes, in most cases they do. But this Renato Sanchez is number one, so rare and so hyped. I think a lot of people were waiting to buy this card when the card price dropped after the Chelsea game. But it, in fact, did not drop in price and it went up because there were so many people waiting to buy. So I picked one up at 1.31, ended up selling it for almost 100,000 coins of profit. After the game, so many people went out and started buying him. He went all the way up to almost 1.5 mil, sold mine at 1.487. That was a tremendous W, right? So that was some of the crazy market movements with we ha that we had with those Road to the Finals yesterday. Now, the same thing goes for today with cards that we have with game, big game today, huge game today with um, Manchester United and Atletico Madrid. Now this Alex Tellez was down a bit yesterday because EA released UEFA marquee matchups as a part of the content, which supplied road to the final cards on the market a decent amount. That's why Tellez went from like 280 down to 260. Now he's back up to 270 at the moment, but this card again has a big game today. If Manchester United score first, you know, this card is probably going to rise up. It's probably going to rise up 10, 20,000 coins in price. But if Atletico Madrid score first, this card's going to drop down to like 220K. And everybody who's invested in Alex Tellez is going to be panicking. So you got to watch that Tellez card today. You have to watch Marcus Llorente as well. Of course, his card is actually up in price a bit because of the link to Griezmann. He's up like 50K. So if, you know, if Manchester United score first, same thing. Llorente is probably going to drop. If um, Atletico score first, he's probably going to go up. And then whatever the outcome of the game is, that's going to affect the cards because whichever person, whichever team wins, if there is a clear winner, they, they of course could draw. In the event of a draw, probably both cards would drop off. But if a clear winner happens from the Atletico and Manchester United game, that is what is going to move these cards either up or down post game. Winning team cards will probably go up or stay higher than they were before now the other game of course with Ajax playing Benfica the only card that is involved in that is the Martinez objective item so no really market movement potential here just you know for Ajax fans or for if you did this objective but potential upgrade is on the line for that one so that's kind of um, what content you could watch for today on the market if you're looking to trade a little bit and then of course yesterday with the flashback Griezmann this card is getting a really really good reception and this is a card that I'm 100% doing Four star, four star, the card himself looks really, really good. I haven't watched any play reviews, but I just like Griezmann IRL. I think the card got a really great boost. It looks like a great winger, a great center attacking mid, great striker. He's got all the traits in the world. Tactical dribbler, outside foot, finesse shot. You guys have looked over this card, right? It's a little expensive, just a little bit. And a lot of people are asking the question, should I do Ben Yedder 
or should I do this Antoine Griezmann? In my opinion, it really comes down to what you need. But I think this Griezmann, while it is a little overpriced, I wish it was around like 300K, around the same price as Ben Yedder and not 370,000 coins. I think it's craftable. If you're doing 80 plus player picks at all, or if you're opening any of the times 25 packs from Icon Swaps, it is pretty craftable and it's a nice card. Probably gonna be one of the best cards that we see for, for Griezmann this year. So I'm a big fan of it. Looks like a lot of people on Footbin uh, are a fan of it as well. I want to see the upvotes on the actual SBC. Um, Griezmann has a 45% upvote, 55% downvote. But uh, yes, yesterday we had the UEFA marquee matchups as well. First time we've had that in a long time this year. And that is why you saw a lot of these road to the final cards dip in price. Um, of course, Gareth Bale dropped a lot yesterday because of the Griezmann actually coming out. There was impact there. But Kempembe's card, right? No games, no upgrades on the line for him. He went from 1.2. He was 1.22 all the way down to 1.13. Now he's bounced back, not quite to where he was, but a lot of road to the finals in general dropped yesterday. Like Denayer dropped 30,000 coins from not really being supplied on the weekend with the mini release and to getting a lot of supply yesterday on this game with those UEFA marquee matchups, right? That's something that we're going to have to continue to keep and monitor on uh, because those UEFA marquee matchups will drop every single week that we have Champions League football through these next few weeks. Um, and that's going to make for some interesting market movement. So there was actually a lot more movement on the market yesterday than there was on Monday with the release of Icon Swaps number two. Uh, and I think that's going to continue today on Wednesday with the new team of the week, especially if we do have a loading screen or any more information about this Silver Stars promo and what it's going to be about. The craziest part about all this is that we just, we just don't know. We just have a lot of of unknown related to this silver stars silver cards promo and whatever it's going to be so we're going to cover it all here as we get the information and maybe as we get some official information from ea sports that would be very very nice so if you enjoyed the video today make sure to hit a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you are new it has been nate the foot account and i will catch you guys later peace out